Hey everyone, welcome to another Waken video. Um, thanks for joining us again this week. I just wanted to talk to you guys about a verse that has stuck with me over the years. Um, one of my favorites actually. It's a long one, so get your pens and your papers ready. Um, it is 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, pray without ceasing. I know, a lot to take in. Um, but the reason I love this verse so much is because a while ago I was really confused on why we even pray. You know, I God's all-powerful, all-knowing, he's gonna do what's best and what he thinks is right and knows is right. So he's going to take into consider my prayer? No. So I was like, all right, you're gonna do you, I'm gonna do me, I'm done praying. Doesn't make any sense. So the next day, I looked at my phone and that Bible app, and that was the verse. I was like, well, that's really strange. And then a few things later that week happened, and it was really coincidental. It was all about praying. And I was like, okay. So um, I called my grandma. She's my source for everything. And I um, asked her, what's the deal with all this stuff? So she kind of explained that praying is not... It is about a relationship with God. It is how you, how you talk to your, your friend, however you view God, whatever portion of your life that he's the most um, strong in. For me, he really focuses on being my friend. Um, so it's how I speak to him. It's in the middle of the day at work when I'm having a really bad day. It's help me get through this. When I'm tired and falling asleep on the way home, it's keep me awake. When I'm having an anxiety attack, it's please keep me calm. Give me your overwhelming peace. It's your your heyday prayer. prayer. Um, you know, like throwing up one when, if you're on a diet and somebody brings donuts into the office and you have zero self-control, <laughs> that is, um, that's, you know, give, give me your control. Show me, show me how to go through this day. And, it's just continuing to talk to him all day, really making him a part of your life. Or when you see somebody struggling, throw a prayer in for them. It can only benefit them. A challenge for you. Someone you see pretty often on the daily, maybe a family member. Pray for them. Pray for them every day. About something, about anything. And watch how God changes them. It's amazing. So with that, I encourage you to pray continuously, pray without ceasing, and hone in on your favorite verse. Make it a part of your daily, daily life. Hey Hunter, what's your favorite verse? I was here the whole time. All right. Um, so there is a verse that's really stuck out to me in my life, and it stuck out so much I'll zoom in on me a little bit here that I actually got tattooed zoom in on my tattoo here Ta -ta. you see it says gal 220 well that's an abbreviation so it stands for Galatians 220 and that's the verse that has really impacted my life um, from whenever I came to know Christ onward and I'll just share it here quickly and it says I have been crucified with Christ it is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. In the life I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. <coughs> Sorry. Not sick. And that verse um, has a lot of depth to it. Um, Paul's the man. If you read through a scripture and go through the books that Paul wrote, which is most of the New Testament... Um, God has given him so much wisdom and it's carried on well past his death. So many people are turning to Christ because of his words, because of what God gave him and is continually using. And this verse is the example of it. Um, and so part of my story is growing up, I went to a church um, I would attend with my family, but I never listened. I never participated. I wasn't in the youth group growing up. 
Um, but I just never really thought about it that much, other than we just go on Sundays. But it took a lot of struggles to realize that it was so much more important than just a weekly activity. That it's the most important thing in life. Your relationship and how you see God and how God sees you matters more than anything else we could ever do. Because that's eternal. And I only realized that after going through two years of depression on top of other things that came through my life. But it was through these moments that God really revealed himself through different people, through uh, loving and caring friends and family members, through his word, through people preaching his word, that finally broke through. So a little bit later, and um, I'm actually following Christ, and I've become a Christian myself, and I came across this verse, and reading it, I was really impacted that this is the Christian life. This verse right here. That if you proclaim that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, it is no longer you who lives. Specifically, it is no longer the flesh. The former you. The you without Christ. That person is dead and gone. And you are a new creation. One who was raised with Christ. So that you can live in freedom. That you can live in what he has planned for you. You don't have to live in fear, but instead to live by faith and to live in the way that God has designed for you to preach his gospel, to preach his good news. And I was just so blown away by that. that I'm like, this is so important to remember because it's easy to do, especially when you first start following Christ and even afterwards. That you can get caught up in the things of this world. That you can be tripped and pushed down and kind of forget where we are and what we're supposed to do. But it's verses like this that really grind us to the gospel. They really help us to focus in on what's most important. That's why I decided I need more remembering because a lot of times I don't even <laughs> read without somebody helping direct me. So I put it one way I can't ignore it. And I see it every day, it reminds me that I'm no longer that person before Christ, but instead a new creation. Someone who can live in that freedom. And that's the most wonderful news. That we are free, that we are loved by God, that we can have a relationship with him because of Jesus. And he's the one who deserves the praise from all of this. So, I think what both of us um, are continuing to pray for everybody who's been watching these, especially for the Awakened Youth Group. Uh, hopefully you guys are joining us online Wednesdays. Uh, we love seeing everybody and the ways that we can try to get connected. Um, but we're still going to be praying for you guys. And a challenge going with what Elena says is to look into prayer, to look into the scripture, and to see what's a verse that's important to you. Because we're all different. God designed us each in specific ways that are wonderful. And to just find out what really draws you closer to him. And to share that. Because you don't know what your words might be able to do to somebody else. So, um, I think we're going to pray out. And thanks again for watching these. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, God. Um, First and foremost, for who you are. God, thank you that you showed yourself to us. God, that we can find your truth in your word. God, just thank you that we can come to you in prayer. And you do hear what we say. God, that's wonderful, but just like Elena said, the most important part is that we have a relationship with you. God, it's that aspect that you wanted us to be in relationship with. And God, that's better than anything I could ever imagine. So God, we praise you for that. God, I just thank you for these different verses that show the truth of the gospel. That we can have hope, that we can have peace in your name. So God, I just pray for everybody 
um, who's watching these. Um, I pray for everybody who is from and attends uh, the Awaken Youth Group and um, just Westridge in general. God, as we're starting to get used to this weird way that the world's going now, we know that you're still in control. So God, we look to you for guidance. We look to you for peace. God, I pray for protection for everybody um, in every way possible. God, I pray that your glory would be revealed and we would draw closer to the, your gospel. And that we can proclaim that in any way that we can. And we thank you and we praise you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, thank you guys. We'll see you Wednesday. Peace.